come up with a rule that makes it okay for them to do a same day bill. So they'll pass this rule. It's, believe it or not, called martial law. of a display of international military might. Thousands of men and women from several different countries all landed on Camp Pendleton's beaches. The tactical supervisor for El Paso SRT for Homeland Security Investigations. Well, we have our, our big vehicle out here, it's an armored vehicle. Uh, it's an MRAP vehicle. It's mine resistant, ambush protected, that's what it stands for. This is what we use to deliver our, our, um, our team to uh, high risk warrant services. Yeah, this is our garage right now. What the hell? Wow, there. So we have a small window, a small window to act, but we have to realize we have to speed up our reflexes because we're in police state time, we're in coup time. Soldiers are learning to use so-called non-lethal weapons designed to subdue unruly or dangerous individuals and crowds. We are now in a state of martial law and war uh, globally. NDAA, National Defense Authorization Act, that Obama has called for and signed stipulates that even American citizens can now be uh, targeted by the military, picked up and imprisoned indefinitely without civilian trial, thus throwing out our due process, our habeas corpus clauses. So we are now in the state of martial law. Everything is now putting conditions for a, a total war state. I mean, McCain called for the, the, the whole America becoming part of the so-called battlefield. America is now battlefield. The whole earth is a battlefield. What we're trying to do then is create a martial law state using, using Iran as the terrorist enemy or threat. Now to a controversial bill resurfacing in Congress. The FEMA camp bill allows the government to run at least six military installations when a national emergency is declared. These emergency centers would be run by FEMA under the command of the Secretary of Homeland Security. President Obama claimed the power to keep people in prison indefinitely with no charges against them, no conviction, no sentence, just imprisonment. It's important to note here that this document was created in 2010, which was under the Obama administration. And it predates the NDAA of 2012, which authorized military detainment of U.S. citizens. This clearly shows a long-term agenda at work. It was created in 2010, however, it's just been recently leaked to the public via the internet. The document outlines military procedures for internment and resettlement of civilians, and it describes the layout and the administration of these internment camps. It clearly states on page 38 that it applies within U.S. territory, and it specifically addresses the detainment of U.S. citizens, as is indicated by the identification procedures for new prisoners on page 146, which states that social security numbers are to be recorded alongside their photograph and fingerprints. Included in the list of organizations which may be involved in these internment operations are the Department of Homeland Security, FEMA, the Department of Defense, and the United Nations. Here it is. It's called Agenda 21. Agenda 21. Agenda 21. Now, it has been adopted by more than 178 governments. I believe there's only 191 on the planet. We've got to stabilize the population. When I was born, no, there were So too, what's wrong with the population? I mean, with too many people. Thank you, Laura. 
Um, Rick, what does population stabilization mean and how do you seek to enforce that? On page 260, it shows the basic layout for a facility focusing on detainment. It is depicted with interrogation areas, tribunal areas, and mortuaries. Each detainment facility is designed to hold 4,000 prisoners, and they are depicted with multiple levels of barbed wire separating compartments within the facility, with a double barbed wire fence enclosing them and watched over by 24 guard towers. Now, if there's any question whether these plans are active or just theoretical, this should be settled by the fact that the U.S. Army has been running ads for job positions in these camps since 2009, and apparently, they're still hiring. The FEMA plans to imprison American citizens have generated a lot of interest around the country in locating the potential prison camps throughout the country. The Rules Committee is going to meet in the House. They are going to come up with a rule that makes it okay for them to do a same-day bill. So they'll pass this rule. It's, believe it or not, called martial law. This last week, the U.S. Congress passed a bill uh, which repeals the posse comitatus, which means that they, we have now uh, institutionalized and codified uh, martial law. Mr. Speaker, I understand we're under martial law as declared by the Speaker last night. It is, it is surreal. Uh, you just never, you never expect to do this in your own country. Walking up and down these streets, you don't, you don't want to think about the stuff that you're going to have to do. Somebody pops around the corner. I mean, shoot in America. Yeah. And of understanding is that the Fourth Amendment of the Constitution says that you must have probable cause to be able to do a, a, a search that does not violate an American's right against uh, unlawful searches and, search, uh, searches and seizures. Actually, you, the uh, Fourth Amendment actually uh, protects all of us against unreasonable search and seizure. But, the, what, the, but the, says. the measure is probable cause, I believe. The amendment says unreasonable search and seizure. But does it not say prop for the no. the typical of what you see in an urban environment, people hanging out, doing nothing. And as we know, idle time is the devil's hands. Right? We've been saying people don't have jobs, they don't have a home to go to, or a home that they want to go to. So they just hang out all day long. You have a local religious leader over there and the nun. You have a church right here. You have some Marines conducting an interview over here, it looks like. Right now everything's calm. Everybody seems to be content. But at any minute, this could erupt into a riot. Hey, don't turn on. How's it going over at the camp? Oh, pretty well. The guys are in a bit uh, exercises now. Um, they do fairly well. So the camp camp situation is going good with the uh, disarmament and things? Oh, yeah. Because we saw them over there disarming people. Is that what the exercise is? Yeah, exercise now, yeah. Fantastic. Where are you from, sir? Well, Holland. Oh, okay.